Well, hi there, math students. This video is going to walk you through how to use the online digital versions of our workbook pages. Um, for the most part, this is optional to use this. However, there will be occasional assignments where this is the only way to access the pages. So you do need to make sure to watch this so that when that occurs, you're prepared and know how to use those pages. All right. So the links will be embedded within the lessons to the pages. So for example, um, this is for student book page four, right? And the title of this page is more product game problems. So towards the end of the typed instructions, you will see something that says click here for the digital version of the page. And if this is optional to you, it'll say optional. Um, if it is required that you have to use the digital version, there's not a paper one of it, it will also say that. So it'll be hopefully pretty clearly written for you. Um, it'll also either appear in blue or it'll be underlined like this. So it's very simple. All you do is just click that where it says click here and it's gonna open a new tab. And sometimes it takes a second. You just gotta be patient. All right, and it's almost loaded. Okay, and don't panic if you see those bubbles with the grade levels. It should go right to your page. If for some reason it doesn't go right to your page, just exit out and click the link again. It might just be because it's like the first time we've gone to the site. So as you can see, there is the workbook page. All right. Um, at the bottom is your toolbar. It's pretty straightforward. So this T is a text box. So if you would rather type out your answer, you can do that. You can also change the colors. If you look, it actually appears up here in this gray box. Okay, and you can change the font size by clicking the letters, the A's and the little A. And then you can drag that to wherever you want. Um, it's really important to note that if you have your text box off in this gray area, when you save your work, that will not appear. Only what is on the workbook page will save and download when it comes time to do that. Okay. Um, the other option is the pin. So if you click that, you have a little pin toolbar that pops up over here. And you can drag that around as you need. So the first one, it just, um, if you see it's a squiggly line, so it's a free hand. So if you have a touch screen, this is really handy. Um, it's kind of hard to do with a mouse, as can be seen with that. Um, if you need to draw a straight line, that second one makes it straight. So you can kind of try to go zigzag, but it won't let you. And if you need to change your color, you'll use the color wheel. And then to erase, you're gonna use the eraser. Okay, and you can just drag it around. And then if you want to clear all of your work, like you just need to start fresh, you can hit clear. Okay, and that only takes away the pin, that doesn't take away the typing. So you can leave that toolbar open, just click the last button you used, and now you just have your mouse again. Right, this uh, math text tool down here is if you need to like type in an equation, and you don't want to use the keyboard necessarily, you could do that. So you could say eight plus three equals 11. And you've got that typed in. So it's kind of like the text box, but just for your digits and your operations. All right, um, if you need to zoom in, you can click zoom in your little magnifying glass. Okay, and it'll zoom in your work also. That doesn't change the size. And then you can just click zoom back out. Voila. Um, this is your undo button. So if you don't want to use the eraser, you can just click undo. And since the last action I did was zooming in, it's doing the zoom in. Okay. And then if you want to redo that, like you wanted to keep it, you'll just hit the redo button. Um, don't worry about that trash button because that would probably get rid of all your work. No bueno. And then 
to be safe as you work, it's probably a great idea to hit save. And this should save to your cookies online. So if you hit that link again, I believe it would bring up your work. Okay, some workbook pages go together. So if you have something that is more than one page, you would click the next page up here. This one is only a one page assignment and there's nothing that goes with it. So it just says page one of one. So always look at that and double check that you do all of the pages. because That would be an oopsie if you missed that. Okay, so say that you've done all your work, you've answered all your problems. If there was a page two, you completed that. To turn in and save your work, you're going to use this little box with an arrow coming out of it, okay? And we have two main options. We can download it as a PDF and it'll download to your device, okay? Or you can save it to your Google Drive and this will actually create a um, like Bridges math folder in your Google Drive. So you should be able to find it there. So from there, you can either upload the PDF or your Google Drive file and turn it in. Um, we will not use the share a link or share a code, okay? Just download as a PDF or Google Drive. So for example, if you download as a PDF, you can come in and change the file name. So you could say math page, I think this was four, okay? Or you could give it the title of the workbook page and then click save and it'll save to your device. Or if you do Google Drive, it'll pull that up. Mine's just being a little slow though, okay? Um, and it also probably wouldn't hurt. Let me cancel that. Um, To go ahead and click once you've downloaded it to save and exit. So that way, if maybe you need to redo this, assignment or an assignment, um, your work would hopefully be saved online so you wouldn't start from scratch. So that is how you use those online PDFs. Um, always ask your teacher if you're having trouble or need additional help and be sure to do the best you can. All right, you got this.